Hello, my name is Monica Robati and I'd like to present some of the preliminary results of um, chronic hepatitis B registry we developed in Sydney, Australia. In Australia, liver cancer used to be very infrequently diagnosed um, until about uh, three or four decades ago, but since then, incidence and mortality have increased significantly, and liver cancer is now one of the top ten causes, causes of cancer death. Most of the cases are related with uh, chronic hepatitis infection. Uh, hepatitis B is responsible for approximately 40% of liver cancer diagnosis. So therefore, in order to control um, the rising uh, incidence of liver cancer, we really need to be able to uh, influence the malignant transformation, and we have the medications that enable us to do so. Um, however, uh, despite the fact that the treatment is available free of charge in Australia, only about 5% of people infected receive it. It is estimated that between 15 and 20% of people really could benefit from antiviral treatment. Um, liver cancer is distributed unevenly in a geography of uh, the state of New South Wales. The largest incidence is in southwest Sydney, which is also the area with the largest migrant population. Um, Southwest Sydney has a large population of uh, Vietnamese and Chinese speaking people who um, came to Australia in the 70s um, and 80s and onwards. Um, to be born in a um, chronic hepatitis B endemic country increases one's uh, liver cancer risk by 6 to 13 fold. Um, our group, um, with the support of um, Cancer Council New South Wales, uh, piloted an intervention which tried to see if uh, um, a population level response to chronic hepatitis B is feasible and in order to do that we conducted economic modeling, we educated the local community on the uh, relevance of knowing their hepatitis B status and being under care, we supported general practitioners to be able to provide um, up to date uh, management and also we established a chronic hepatitis B registry in order to support case finding and to support follow-up and um, timely institution of antiviral treatment. We risk stratified patients uh, using a color coordinated algorithm which um, risk stratified them into pathways which were suitable for general practice uh, management. Um, the yellow and uh, orange pathway in the graphs uh, here, um, whereas for people who had elevated transaminase levels, they received um, a specialist um, a care through the red or um, purple pathways. So what we were able to demonstrate was we were able to recruit approximately 25% of the target population in a space of about five years. Um, most of the people were born either in China or in Vietnam. Um, most of them had already seroconverted, which is in keeping with data from other sources, and uh, most of them had uh, uh, viral loads which were below 2,000 international units per mil, and three quarters or just over had what we call a normal ALT levels. We achieved antiviral treatment uptake of 18%, more than threefold higher than national average, and we could demonstrate that 79% of all the patients would remain under the care of their own GP. So in conclusion, the Hepatitis B Registry improved chronic hepatitis B management in an area of Sydney with high disease prevalence. We believe that the model of hepatitis care is feasible and acceptable to GPs and to their patients, and also that the hepatitis B data can uh, inform health policy decisions. Thank you for your time.